Okay, here we're going to be graphing a quadratic function, but before we do that, we're going to find the vertex, we're going to find the axis of symmetry, we're going to determine whether there's a maximum or a minimum value, and find that value, and then graph the function. So here we go. Our function is f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 3. The vertex is a point. Like any other point, it has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, but it's special because it's the turning point of the quadratic function. Here's a cupped-up parabola, and the vertex is at the point where the parabola changes from going down to going up we would say from decreasing to increasing. Over here, this is a cup-down parabola, and the vertex is at the point where the parabola changes from going up, which is increasing, to going down, which is decreasing. Notice that the name of the vertex changes to HK. If you've already had transformations, you recognize this as h being the horizontal shift and k being the vertical shift. h and k double as that. But here, they're meant to represent, or to actually be, the x and the y coordinates of the vertex. Now, we can, in a minute, let me roll down there. Now, we can easily find out what h is because it has a great little formula right here, h equals negative b over 2a. k equals f of h, and here's what that means. Our f of x is negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 3 where a is negative 2, b is negative 2, and c is 3. So h is going to be negative b, negative 2, negative, negative 2, over 2 times negative 2, which is 2 times b, here, uh, 2 times a. So we have negative b over 2a, which gives us 2 over negative 4, which gives us negative 1 half. Now k, <coughs> excuse me, is going to equal f of negative 1 half. So I put a negative 1 half in for every x, and then I calculate and find out that k is going to be 3 and a half which can also be written as 7 over 2. And my math lab is asking for fractions. So our vertex is going to be negative 1 half, comma, 7 halves. Now we're being asked to find in B the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line running up and down through the vertex. It has a formula, x equals h. Well, we already know what h is. h is negative 1 and a half. So x equals negative 1 half is the equation of the vertical line that runs through the vertex. OK, now, c. We're being asked to find the maximum or the minimum. So let's take a look. When we have a cupped up parabola, the vertex is the lowest point, so it's a minimum point. And k, the y-coordinate, is the minimum value. When we have a cupped down parabola, the vertex is the highest point, so it's a maximum point. So hk is the maximum point, and k is the maximum value. Well, it just so happens 
when the leading coefficient, here the leading coefficient is negative 2, when the leading coefficient is negative, we have a cup-down parabola. So that means that our parabola, which is the graph of f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 3, which is a cup-down parabola, the vertex is going to be a, maxim, a, a maximum point and k is going to be the maximum value. Therefore, 7 over 2 is the maximum value because that's what k equals. Now for d, we're going to have to graph and we'll be going back to my math lab. But we need to find some points. We've already got the vertex, negative 1 half and 7 over 2. And the easiest point of all to find is the uh, y-intercept. So what you do to find the y-intercept is you let all of the x's equal 0. So we find f of 0. And that puts a 0 in for every x, which just leaves us with the number on the end, the constant, 3. So at the time that I did this, I could not remember whether my math lab was asking for two points or three points. It ends up it's just asking for two points. But to find a third point, I took f of negative 1, which puts a negative 1 in for every x. And the answer came out to 3. So I found three points, negative one-half and seven over two, which can also be written with decimals this way, zero, three, and negative one, three. Okay, now we're going to graph in my math lab. So, let's see what we have to do. Okay, now, we come over here, and I am going to click on the vertex, negative one-half. See, there's one. So this is negative one-half. Three and a half. Now I'm going to click on another point, 0, zero 3. Oh, and I only needed two points. I couldn't remember whether I needed two or three. OK, let's save. Does it say save anywhere? No, it says check answer. Hey, we did it. Okay, talk to you later.